All right, 2.3. We have uh, solving one-step inequality equations using multiplication and division. Now, in almost every way, this is just like solving a one-step uh, equation with multiplication and division. By which I mean... Oh, still have the last problem up there. If you had 2x is greater than 4, all you have to do is divide by 2, divide by 2, and x is greater than 2, right? It's, it's still fairly simple. What changes is if negatives are involved. So let's say you've got 2, negative 2x two equals, not equals, negative 2x is greater than 4. Same thing has to happen, right? We're going to divide by a negative 2. Divide by a negative 2. But here's the thing. As that 2, as that negative 2 crosses over, it flips this sign. So now x is less than negative 2. Does that make sense? You have to flip the sign whenever you multiply or divide a negative. If you were subtracting or adding, it wouldn't make a difference. You just move it across, just like normal. So now let's look at uh, negative 2x plus 3 is less than or equal to 7. I'm going to subtract this 3, subtract this 3. The sign, sign stays the same. Negative 2x less than or equal to 7 minus 3 is 4. The sign is the same sign. But now that I'm messing with this negative 2, now the sign has to flip. x becomes greater than or equal to negative 2. Does that make sense? You have to flip the sign if you divide a negative. Okay, that's it for this lesson. Um, pretty quick and easy, but that's a that's a critical step. You can't forget to flip the sign if you're dividing or multiplying with a negative.